Okay, so for science today, my sports, we are going to carry on looking at magnets and magnetic fields. So here I wrote magnetic fields. And last time I told you to have a look, some magnets, you can't push them together, right? And other magnets attract things really quickly. So there's a, an invisible field working around that magnet. And we're going to look at those fields today. Uh, one, they never cross. The fields never end. They're continually moving in a circle. And they're closer together when the magnetic force is strong. So what I want you to do to display these three things is draw yourself an earth. So here's my earth. I'm going to make a little Africa. This can be South America, a bit of North America, a bit of UK and Europe, some Asia, a bit of Australia. Kind of like an earth, all right? And we're going to label them north and south. We know where that is. So this is north and this is south. So I asked you last time where the magnetic poles were and they're the magnetic polar opposites of the earth they're at north and they're at south they're not actual poles okay they're just magnetic fields and what happens with these magnetic fields is they move in a circle and they always move from north to south right and then they go around again so they never cross so they'll do this And the force looks like that and they go the other way all right so you can show your magnetic fields and the way they travel from north to south on your map and to show the direction we put an arrow on each field right so you can see here now they never cross okay they never end because it goes north south and it travels through like a big circle of life okay and they're closer together where the force is strong so you can see they all bunch up there to travel round and round and that's how they keep moving so that's what I want you to know about magnetic forces for now then I want you to look up these two questions that I've written at the bottom here what is the phenomenon I'm gonna tell you about and two how do we measure magnet force Magnet force has a very special way of being measured. It starts with a T. You're going to find out what that is for me. That's question number two. I'll send you a photo of this. And the first one is this magical phenomenon that I had no idea had to do with magnetic force. So basically, if we make a sun here, this is Tammy's sun. The sun gives off something called solar wind. So solar just means sun and wind is like an energy, an invisible energy, right? So imagine that the sun's giving off energy, right? And that energy is got a magnetic force in it that is attracted to the poles of the earth. So this magnetic energy goes in there and this solar energy goes in there as well. So when you're in the north and when you're in the ex extreme south, right close to the, the magnetic poles of the earth, you can see something in the sky. And it's the energy, the solar wind from the sun, so the hot wind from the sun, being attracted to those poles. And when you look in the sky, you can actually see it. Can you give me the name? of what it is we can see. It's very beautiful in the sky and lots of colors. Okay, so that's your one question. And number two is, what do we measure magnets in? Okay, and then next lesson, we're gonna do a little experiment on how to test if uh, we can make our own compass. All right, so make sure you keep your magnets ready have a look at what this phenomenon is for me, please. 
and find out what we measure magnets in. Uh, and it's a strange thing, but I promise I won't ask you to measure magnets just yet. For now, please write down these three interesting facts about magnetic fields. And then I'd like you to do also, you can draw me a picture of what this phenomenon is and how we would measure it. And make sure you know in a diagram, nicely labeled, these three things. All right, catch you on Wednesday.